point, I expect stuff to happen. I don't expect to put some out there just to be there to run something, to do something. If you're going to be out there on the field, ball friends, I want you to catch the football. I want you to catch the football. If the ball is, is remotely in this area, you better catch it. So when you walk out on the field and you fear getting beat, guess what you're feeling? can't play this game with any kind of work. We're in two battles right now. We're trying to battle to play football and we're trying to battle with the team. We're about to heat up and we're about to figure it out. Responsibility being on the Rockcaster football team. That means you have to play tough every single play. You don't take nothing from anybody and you don't you don't let them dictate what happens. You come off the, you get off the bus and you wear half the ball aside. When you step on that football field just like me, there'll be 100% focus and serious. I got a drive and I see that they stop. I bought a whip and I paid it in cash. Numbers keep growing like what's on the dash. Draw me the Addy, I pull it a mess. Uh, tomorrow, 7 on 7. Friday, 7 on 7. At South Florida Tournament. This Saturday morning, it's a 7 on 7 at EKU. Okay? So we got three 7 on 7s this week. So we got to get in shape. We'll try to break you in a little bit each day. We'll do half a mile today. But I expect you guys to sprint it. Check you guys for sprinting. Y'all understand? We got four of them. One, two, three, finish. Got it? Well, you will go down there. Y'all come back to me. Got four of them. Oh. I'm back. Let's go, same thing. Point right out down this way. Go. Ready when they come back, you go get the whistle. Let's go! Alright. A one! Push, let's go! Gotta get yourself back in shape. Gotta get yourself back in shape. Gotta get back in shape. Come on, boy. Got 30 seconds to get this done. Come on, 28 seconds! There's one! Push back! You gotta sprint to get him done! Come on, all the way to me. Quit cheating or I'll make you do it all over again. Come on, down and back. Come on, 20 seconds. You got 10 seconds. You come to me. Come on, five seconds. Let's go. You have to reach out and run. Got to run. Got to sprint out and run. Five seconds every time. You gotta be able to run 30 yards in five seconds. Let's go. 15 seconds. Standing back. Four seconds. Let's go. Here we go. Group one. You'll we'll finish down here. You ain't gonna make it. I'm making you start all over. Five seconds. Let's go. Let's go! Don't round it, Val! Let's go! 15 seconds! 
Come on! Get me that back. Ten seconds. Five down and back. Let's go. Come on! Thirty-six seconds. That's what the linemen get. You ought to run faster than that. You already get the break. You already get thirty-second rest. Let's go. Come on. Push it back. You got five seconds every time. Five seconds to run thirty yards. You run forty yards in five seconds. So there's no absolute excuse, period, at all. Finish! Come on! winning the tournament at South Wall. Seven on seven means that don't mean nothing about our whole season. I'm gonna get as many reps for people as possible the real tournament we wanna play due to it is on Saturday at Eastern. So we're gonna get a lot of reps in. They ain't gonna I don't care. If we lose a seven on seven game, you know what our record is at the beginning of the season? Oh no. Oh no. That absolutely means nothing to me. Seven on seven to me, get in shape. For now, we just go have fun. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead and get your drink of water. Let's go. Put your helmets on. Jog down there. Break it out. Let's go break it out. Break it out. Hey, I'm going to tell you receiver something today. You can be replaced as fast as I can snap my fingers. You understand? Yeah, I, can, I got about six, seven, eight guys, nine guys. If you don't go do what you're supposed to do, I can take you out and you, we won't miss a beat. And that's up to you, 100%. That's guy right here. If you don't put it out, you're going to get took out. Hey, rock hard. Three, one, one two, two, three, rock, rock hard. Oh, down here. Hey, Bobo. Backward lunge. It's the same thing as forward, but you're going back with Johnny Cash. Bring the fire. I fell into a burning fire. Obviously, you quit taking your medicine, didn't you? <laughs> I figured you did. <laughs> and the flame was the fire. Just don't keep, just don't take it no more. I like you better like that. It I'm not going to say I enjoy it, but... You're going to look like you got abs and go home and eat like a cow. You're going to look like you got flabs. Yep. But it's something we all got to do. Come on! Got to spread it, though! And looking back on it, you see people talk about how they wish they would have ran more so they wouldn't, they'd be in better shape, you know, better condition for actual games. But we, you know, we have to do it. We have fun with it sometimes. You hear Coach Larky talking. And he, he said some, I'd say, out-of-pocket things, but we're always joking around about it. We've talked about scooping and scoring last year, a bunch of other stuff. I mean, it's just, it, we keep it fun. Hey, guys, don't pace yourself just because it's the first time we're running. You don't ever get to pace yourself in a football game. You've got to make your mind tell your body that you're going to get with Jay. Got it? One, two, two. Come on. Three right here. Come on down, coming back to me. Down and back to me, and you're done. Hey, come on, come on, Campbell. Come on, Heath. Come on, Colin. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Miles. Come on, get back to me, and you're done. Come on. Come on, come on, down and back. Down and 
Hey, come on. Hey, don't eat that. Come on, come on. We gotta get there. We gotta get there. We gotta get there. Come on. Hey, don't quit on me. Don't quit on me before you get here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, big mouth. Come on, big mouth. Come on, Tillery. Watch Let's it, go, Tillery. You guys want some good running motivation? Don't think about you're running for your own shape. Think about Miles, you're running in shape. You're getting yourself in shape so you can help Colin win a freaking football game. You're helping Heath win by getting in shape right here. Think about that. Think about that. Oh. Oh. Gotta compete. Let's go. Ethan. Come on, Ethan. Let me use this. Who? <laughs> come on, come on, boys. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Hey, think about what being in shape can do for this football team. Come on. Come on, Colin. Come on. Hey, you're right there. You're right there, man. You're right there. Come on. Go, AJ. Come on, Billy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're counting on you. We're counting on you. Back up, 10. Back up. Come on, big country. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on, Billy. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. You got 140 yard dash. Sprint it. You got six seconds. Six seconds. Y'all got it? Here we go. Let's go, boys. Six seconds. You're sprinting it. You're sprinting to Coach Hamilton. You got it? Good sprint right here. Ready? Go. No way, I'm back. They sprint to me. Let's go. Good job, Austin. Good job, RJ. Come on, stop, Heath. Come on, 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 there we go, we got five minutes to run 300. Here's the part you all have to understand. That wears your legs out. Got it? Actually, I'm going to tell you guys, that's pretty pathetic this morning, how bad shape you guys are in. Luckily, Everybody in Kentucky's like that. Because oh. I'm, I'm going to assume every kid in Kentucky is about the same. Lazy, don't do anything during dead period, stays up till five o'clock in the morning, sleeps till five o'clock in the day. Am I about right? Exactly. Don't ever go outside to help nobody. You don't offer any help. You're a smart aleck. You do nothing but sponge off your parents. <laughs> so obviously you're out of shape. Now that's our leg workout today. Now you gotta get your lungs in shape. You understand? Yes, sir. Cause half of you that think <clears throat> on the meantime before your parents are gone to work, while they you lay around and eat potato chips, drink Mountain Dew, and probably vape, Let's get your lungs in shape. Coach Hamilton, got it? Yeah. Hey, don't do it slow. I'm not saying you gotta sprint it, but you gotta get a big, long stride. The bigger the stride, the faster it takes off the yards. You gotta run, got it? You will do three of these, you go down there and stay. I'll blow the whistle, you'll come back to me, then we'll go back down there and be finished. You got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After we do, after we're done with it. Ready? Yeah. Big strides, go! Big stride! Reach out there! Reach out! Reach out! Oh, seven on seven down to God tomorrow morning. Folks, brother, can't be here in the morning, so y'all practice in the evening. I'll be back up here at six for you guys. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey. Playing football, y'all look over at me. Playing football is a four-month job. 
we've got July, half of July, August, September, October, really three and a half months is your job. I expect you show up at work every single day. You got it? Yes, yes sir. sir. We're throwing coral routes right now. Let's go. Say, go. Hey, outside guys. Be back. Outside guys. Get up about eight yards. Curl around to eight. Quit coming here so low. Run right the drag. Hey, inside guys. Do not go up the field. Your first step, get out to the sideline. Go to the sideline. Your first step to the sideline. Take off up the field. Your first step to the sideline. Let's go. There you go. Y'all stop. If you can beat him deep, smoke him, we'll throw it deep. There, go! Go! You gotta start off really close. Third and ten, we're going bull rush. Third and ten. Ready? Good, good. Good, good. 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 Hey! Run again! No, my problem is we got tired. We got tired and mentally we lost focus. We got tired and mentally we lost focus. As soon as we lost focus, we quit talking to each other. As soon as we quit talking to each other, we started blowing assignments because we think we, we don't realize how much we need the guy beside us. Y'all come out here and pretend like you can do it all by yourself. You need the guy next to you. Your skill guys. Be here at 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll be back home sometime before 12 tomorrow. So you'll be here at 8 o'clock in the morning. You got that? Yes, sir. Diamond, 6 30 tomorrow. Let's pray. Harder to pray for us. Yeah, okay. Everybody, bow your head. Dear, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Uh, I ask that you watch over everybody and uh, thank you for the nourishment of our body. Watch our body and everything. Amen. Good morning, skill guys. Hey, we had a good practice today. Let's keep it up. Rock hard on three. One, two, three, rock hard. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon I'm gonna sleep this night Try to catch me howling at the moon So Coach Nelson was a great coach, and I loved him as a coach. Still wish he was here with us at Rock Castle, but I'm glad that he was able to move on to bigger and better things, and I hope him and his team and his season goes great.
as we step out the cage We raising all of the stakes, make no mistake Either you stay in your place or we put in you on a plate Look at our face, we put the fear in the dirt We had to struggle for change, pick up the pace We put in infinite work, that's why we stay getting paid Y'all running late, we moving on to the next You still been stuck in the phase, there's no debate We draw the line in the sand, we say it straight to your face They on the rate, so we put the team on our back We took the city to state, what it's gonna take Another S on our chest, another beat in the grave We in the vein, we always switching it up They can't predict what we say, come out the cave They see the blood on our shirt, they see the teeth in the face They watching tape, still trying to figure us out They think we came here to play, they send the snakes They trying to give us a curse, they want us taking the bait But that's okay, we keep on dodging the bull We keep on saying ole, blocking the way Thinking we flipping reverse, but we keep rushing the gate Stopping the rain, we know they sit on the throne It's looking easy to take, we not afraid We put the fear in they bones, ain't no more running away They trying to trace, they trying to follow our steps They trying to copy the wave, boy that's a rain That's why they keep getting curved, you gotta stay in your lane They wanna claim that we not giving them work Like this is minimum wage, boys you crazy Why you keep feeding the beast, now that you open the cage Nobody's safe Most of our breakdowns come from our fear of getting beat. Y'all listen to what I'm saying. Y'all are competitors. But when you walk out on the field and you fear getting beat, guess what you're beat? You can't play this game with any kind of fear. None. You can play it with some caution, but you can't play it with fear. Our big struggle was covering people one on one. Once things got to be one on one, we read or we read routes right and we we had a few breakdowns, and it's not a big deal, stuff we can fix. But when we got one on one, we struggled. That tells me, and according to Coach Larkey, when y'all go over there and you work on your individual drills and your footwork, we don't take things serious enough. Am I right, DBs? Look up here at me. Yes, sir. We don't think, take things serious enough. So everybody's big focus, if you're playing the secondary, you better learn how to cover people one on one. You better learn how to get, get your feet right, your hips right, and you better learn where to be. And then let's quit having that fear when the ball's in the air, let's get our head around and go make the play. Or if we're behind, let's do what we did. We did it a few times today. We went and played their hands and ripped the ball out. There were several times where we should have flipped our, flipped our eyes around and picked the ball off, and we did You got to compete hard, period. Here's what I fear, boys, is that you all are going to be the team that wants to react to what the other team does. We can't be the team that sits around and waits for somebody to run their mouth off can't wait for somebody to come out and smack us before we decide we're going we're going to get up and play. We got to walk on the field every time we step between the white lines. We got to be the guys ready to go throw the punch. So let's quit waiting. There's some things we obviously can't do. There's some things that we do better at than than, than the other stuff. Uh, but we still have not ran the football. This will be a big part of our season two. Well, actually, we threw, we ran the ball more last year than we threw the ball. And, uh, but you all got to figure out what to do and how to get what the, When I call the plays, you got to know exactly what to do. There's things you had to do. Like, there's spots you got to get in. There's, there's, like a lot of those pass plays are spot plays. We throw it to a spot, throw it to an area, field run, find the area. Anywhere you get put, you got to know where to go and what to do. And, uh, We'll work more on tomorrow. What's our record? Oh, no. Oh, no. Listen, step up and compete. Where the hell are you guys from? Yeah. Exactly. That carries a lot in just saying that name. Just being on the football team is saying a lot. Because 
your grandpas, your great grandpas, your dads, your cousins, your uncles, they were part of this program. Somehow, somewhat, your mom may have been cheerleading, whatever. Hey, it's a big responsibility being on the Rock Castle football team. That means you have to play tough every single play. Don't take nothing from anybody. And you don't you don't let them dictate what happens. You come off the, you get off the bus and we're having fun on the side. When you step on that football field just like me, you better be hundred percent focused and serious. When I'm on the sidelines, I don't care to cut up and have fun and joke around with you and, and do that. But when I walk on that football field, you all know I'm a totally different person. Yes, sir. And that's what you have to be too. You step foot on the field as a Rock Castle football player, you better be 100% different because you are 100% different. You set the standard around this area. You understand? Yes, sir. So we got practice in the morning, okay? So there's some stuff we got to take care of and get better at. And you know, it's our first time. We lost a lot of good players last year, didn't we? Yes, sir. On offense and on defense. We lost a lot of experience and you're going to mess up. I mean, I can under, I can deal with you messing up full speed. I can't I can't deal with you messing up not knowing what to do when you should ask. Or when you don't, when you do seven on seven in practice all day, Coach Martin, you shouldn't mess up none. You should know the coverage by now. And it's all about going and getting the ball. Quit worrying about getting beat deep. Go make the play. Got it? Let's pray. Let's pray. And uh, we'll get on the bus, go home, and. Um, in practice in the morning. Who wants to pray for us? I'll just want to uh, hand and pray for us. Dear Holy Father, thank you for another day of life. I hope y'all see the poor and the homeless. Uh, thank you for letting us come out here and play football. And uh, thank you for allowing running back to get hurt. Help you guys all the way home. Bless you for your giving. Help us all the way home. Thank you for your giving. Thank you for your giving. Thank you for your giving. Amen. It's your stuff. Don't leave anything. Right yeah. Anything, yeah. take stuff home. Let's go. Hey, good job, Dave. Let's go. Rock three. One, two, three, rock So we had a seven on seven at North Laurel today. You know, offensively, we didn't do too bad. We just got to, we got to memorize our plays and we got to run to the open spots. We're, we're just drifting too much, you know, not running the routes in the correct spots. You know, defensively, we didn't do awful. We had a few plays where we got burnt, you know, but we can fix that. We just got to, get our one-on-one -on -one coverage a lot better, you know, and then we should be good after that. Go! Today we had a seven-on-seven -seven at North Laurel. You know, we did all right. Our defense really wasn't doing the best. Our offense was doing pretty good. There was a few interceptions thrown, and just overall we had probably a bad seven-on-seven. -seven. We can improve a lot. So next time, which is going to be Friday, we're going to definitely improve on it. Yeah, we had a seven on seven today, and uh, you know it didn't didn't go as good as we was wanting it to. But you know our defense played all right, our offense did pretty good, but had a few interceptions here and there. But you know all around it was a learning tar or a learning day, so it was all right. I can ask you how you like working with Coach Sager. I love it. Do you? What, are you going to ask me something? How do you think today's going to go with the seven on seven? It's going to go great. We're going to go and we're going to work hard and, you know, love our guys and we love going to Eastern Kentucky and we're going to show out and I'm excited. I know you boys are going to do great. How do you think the linemen are going to do today? Linemen are going to do great. They're out. We're expecting big things out of them, and they're going to be the backbone of our team. So we're really expecting them to pack us this year. Thank you. Your man. Today we're going to go to EKU. Um, we're going to do a seven on seven, and then we're going to have a lineman tournament. Go through some drills with these coaches. You got anything to say? No. <laughs> you got nothing to say. Nothing to say. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think the record's gonna be? The record? Yeah. Well, how many are we gonna win? All of them. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna win all of them. All of them? Yeah. Heath Barnes, I have a question for you. 
do you have time to speak? Yeah, I guess so. How do you think the 7-on-7 seven seven is going to go today? We're going to go pretty good. How, how many um, challenges do you think the linemen are going to win? Well, we didn't do the challenge last year, so we're probably not going to be doing it this year. You think linemen are actually going to verse Ferdale this year instead of just sit back and let them, you know, be big and scary? We're going to go against them. 100%? Tillery is a uh, – he's an idiot. That's uh, – most of the time whenever we're out there, he's just kind of in his own world. He doesn't really like to pay attention. He's normally just talking about wanting to go home or being tired or being sick. I think it won't. I love him still, though. He's still a part of the team. <laughs> uh, I'm Colin Hamilton, and here we are on the NCAA team builder right here, making the University of Alaska Anchorage, the Sea Wolves. Uh, there were a couple out there, but they weren't good enough. We're right now building the jerseys. We've just built the roster, uh, and it's going to be good. It's going to be legendary. Maybe. Rock, you? Rock, gonna do the rock, you? you want the ball? First yes, we want ball. ball. So, um, we were we were getting burnt deep, and then um, our our outside linebackers uh, we weren't. We weren't going out towards the flats far enough, and finding or finding the end breakers. Uh, and then they would just throw those short little routes in between us, and the, or they would just throw it deep and completely burn us uh, in all four of the pull play games. Actually, we might have played five pull play games, uh, but we were getting burnt a lot and not finding the end breakers. Like whenever we were playing, it was just like we came out there and we just didn't want to play football at the beginning, and we started throwing the ball deep and. The short passes really got them. We like opened up our offense, and at first we was just going short, going short, going short. Then we throw a bomb to me, Blake, or Cam Smith, and they just couldn't guard us. We're a pretty fast team, and we got a pretty good quarterback. So, and at the beginning, our defense wasn't playing very good, but Coach Martin got onto us and said we can't be scared no more. So we went out there and showed them what's good. One, two, three, rock hard. My mindset was like, I mean, yeah, they're a pretty good team, but like, I mean, we got heart, so we was going to go out there and play. We were not having the greatest day at 7-on-7 seven seven at EKU. We were like, I don't know, it just wasn't really clicking throughout the entire time. And then we got seeded. I think we were probably one of the bottom seeds in the entire tournament. And it was like DuPont Manual, and we were like, all right, it's like, we're either going to go beat these guys or just done. So. 
really our state of mind was just to go win that game. We started playing, uh, we played Newport twice before, before we played DuPont and uh, we lost both of those and they're both pretty big schools up north and uh, so we were kind of, I feel like we were kind of thinking it was maybe going to turn out the same. Uh, and Coach Lockie's saying like DuPont Manual has like 2,000 kids or something in their school. Uh, just a bunch of tall, athletic kids. They're a 5A, 6A school, so we still had to go out. They competed with Mail last year. They beat Mail, so we had to go out there and just show. And some of our kids were scared. They are like, oh, God, we got to play them. But I was just ready. I was locked in. I'm always locked in. I rise to competition. Slash! Slash! Mike, you got to see the drop. See the back. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Yeah. And this guy was running like a go route, kind of. He was trying to get off the line, and I popped off and pushed him a little bit. Not much. I guess the referee thought something different, and the quarterback tried to toss it in between us and. Right, I hit it down, but it got, all got called back, and they had to run up another play because they said it was passing interference. Yeah, Damari. Whoa, come on. Get up, come on. You stretch, huh? Hey, hey. 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 We're not much of a seven on seven team, but we wanted to prove that we can beat a team in the seven on seven. Yeah, we're not much of a, a, a passing team, we're more of a running team. Yeah. 
Ball, ball, ball. 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 Ball, ball, I'm in, I'm in. So we had like ran comeback probably six times that game. So we just kept on feeding, come back, come back. So I ran a comeback and go. And the kid bit on the comeback really bad. I mean, it wasn't the best throw ever. So he ended up intercepting it. But I just reached over his head and ripped it from him with that man strength. What I say? So, uh, Coach Larky was like uh, telling me, he's like, uh, these kids keep on talking trash. We're about to throw a bomb on them. I was like, you know, I'm going to go get up, go up there and get it. So, I just ran a little hitch and go, and kid fell for it. So, I beat him, and they was talking trash the whole game. So, it was in my head. I was like, I got to go catch this ball and show him what's good. Because the kid was like, you don't got offers. You're not good. So, I just went up and got it over his head. We got to the overtime. It was it was like sudden death, so ever scored one. And we were going, we were trying to press Isaiah, trying to like we were trying to make pick plays, anything to get him open, because like of course that's the guy we're gonna see in crunch time. And they just kept double coverage in him, so I was like on that last play I was like, I'm just gonna run a little out because I know that they're gonna double team him and I was just wide open. That's what sent us past him in the first round. Hey, there comes Shea. So we need to go up here somewhere and give him Shea. Get the water bottles, go up here in the Shea. There's steps to get up there. Go up there. I don't see nobody down here. Get up the field right now. If you don't call it, I expect stuff to happen. I don't expect to put some out there just to be there to run something, to do something. If you're going to be out there on the field, the ball's around you, I want you to catch the football. I want you to catch the football. If the ball is, is remotely in this area, you better catch it. If the ball touches your hands, you better catch it. The ball touched your hands, didn't it? When I stop expecting stuff from you, then you have a very bad problem. You, won't have, you don't even have to have a problem. 
and I won't have a problem because you're all behind me. Just why you out there and competed? Why you did good? You didn't give up. Hey, you got down eight, we come right back. We come right back. We didn't run all this fancy stuff that Mel did, Manuel did. We ran our back. So Sayer passed DuPont Manual. We were on so kind of like, we kind of used all of our energy for DuPont. We were like, we got to win this game for against those guys. So whenever Sayer came, it was like, we were giving it our all, but we were kind of dead. They were really good. They're like a seven on seven football team. We're kind of like a punch in the mouth football team. We're not really going to be like a double spread team the entire year. We'll, we'll, we'll get out there, but we're going to try to run it down the, run it down the gut. And then once that stops working, we'll, We'll throw the ball some, so that's just all that kind of happened against Sayer because they were just a good, good passing team. We did great, but we get past the first round, then to me, I think y'all just like either got gassed, or we can use that excuse, or we can say we put all of our marbles in that one basket, we spent all of our energy on that one game, and it drained this emotion. You can't let stuff drain. You got to hey, listen, you have to just keep going to the next thing, just like them. They play back to back. Got it? You can't let yourself get emotionally took down and make mistakes. You can't, you can't, you gotta go on. And the thing is, you've got to pick each other up when something happens. Y'all need, everybody needs help. You gotta be picked up. Go. That's just what he said. When something goes wrong, first thing we do is point a finger at somebody and say it was somebody else's fault. We've made a lot of growth today as far as a football team goes. A lot. We can't lose it. We cannot lose that. We actually have to keep getting better at that point. Ain't got long, boys. We'll be in J-Biz. Doing it for real. Then we see who's really got each other's back. We play a lot of games in two days. That's what I like. You get better each game, too. You got better as, as we went on. Monday. Monday. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to listen? Monday, we got shoulder pads on. Woo! So, if you don't have shoulder pads, you need to come get them. Let's get our stuff no. and go to the, uh, where's the bus at? So, uh, after we got done playing our pool play games, uh, Coach Larky wanted me to go up there and talk to her coach because he was looking at me and I was playing pretty good. So I went up there and talked to him and he said they've been watching me and they want to watch me play on the big field. So whenever we got out to the big field, there was flying drones out there to go watch. And I just knew I had to lock in. It was my time to shine because there's not very, very many colleges that come and watch Rock Castle football, so we just had to do whatever we could to get the show on us. And I'm all about the team, man. I just wanted everybody else to shine. I was telling my teammates before the game against Sayer, I was like, yeah, guys, we got to go. This is a really good team. I mean, they play pretty good against us, but we was just firing off. And I was like, you know, if there's people here to watch me, that means there's people here to watch you. So y'all got to ball out. Y'all are just as good as me. And you just got to play the hardest. And if you get looked at, you want to go play college football. That's how you do it. Hey, Robert, three. One, two, three, Robert.